These are brand new Apple computers, a couple days old. I took one of them and I literally migrated all the programs over to this, wrote a small script, and we'll turn these both on. So we're looking at a factory brand new 500 gigabyte Apple computer and one with our 400 gigabyte SSD in it. I've got two users on here, so you're not actually seeing the OS start yet. As soon as you see the Apple logo, that's when the OS starts. And it's about a two minute thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the computer itself and run a number of high, um, high amount of memory demand programs, such as CS5s, Photoshop, a 50 megabyte per second PowerPoint, things like iTunes, a GarageBand, a number of programs. And we'll see the performance and how it's different. Right now you see the OS kicked in, which once I fix that in the BIOS, it'll look like this from the start. And now the SSD is up with starting iTunes, opening it up, closing it, starting Microsoft PowerPoint. This is a 50 megabyte file, loading that up. We're still starting over here. Go from that, it'll go to, I believe, Illustrator Elements, I'm sorry. It's a 1.2 gigabyte file. It'll open up. There we go. Finish that. Start a CS5 file, 900 megabyte file. And then it'll go to GarageBand. So it's considerably faster. It's actually twice the speed. I've actually run this before I set the two profiles up. And it's about a two minute demo altogether, of which this takes one minute less, approximately. So it shows the value. Now, Apple uses SATA 2, our drives are SATA 2 and SATA 3. SATA 3 is twice the speed of SATA 2. So if you have a computer that is able to take advantage of SATA 3, your speeds are even better. Uh, the theoretical limit is about 600 megabytes per second. We operate about 550 megabytes. So the programs will close themselves out, but it's a pretty good demonstration of how this type of technology works. Uh, in addition, I did a, a video rendering, and I took the three separate kinds of drives. I took the standard Apple hard drive and did a very short rendering. It took about 22 minutes to render. I uh, put it on a hybrid drive, and it took about 19 minutes to render that same file. We put it on the solid state drive, it took about 10 minutes, 10 minutes and 28 seconds. What that means is those people who are doing very large renderings, video file renderings, can shorten their day up on that process. It's not unusual to have six, eight hours of rendering for a video. And I can't say we do it in half, but we'll take a lot of that time away.